you watched and listened to the WWE list, and now we move over to the AEW Ring of Honor TNA list. And the thing that makes this list just a tad bit different is that it involves uh, Jordan Grace, who's a multiple time champion over and over and over, has pretty, pretty much become the face of TNA. You have Timeless Tony Storm, who might be the most over woman in all of professional wrestling. Then you have our forever champion in Athena, whose championship reign is about to hit 600 days. As of this list today, her reign is at 518 days. Let that sink in. The only other woman that's come close is either Asuka Camille or Kaylee Ray. But I digress. Let's get into who should be the next women's world championship contenders for the AEW Ring of Honor and TNA Women's Championships. And starting with TNA, Ash by Elegance, one of the newest signings by TNA, the former Dana Brooke, is going to be building her brand. She's building to something bigger. She's building to something greater. And it starts right here in TNA. Um, she honestly never really got a fair shot in the WWE. And in a smaller company like TNA, she now has, a, has an opportunity to shine. She, at some point, will win the championship. I even believe she could be the one to dethrone Jordan Grace. Because Jordan Grace has taken challenges from left and right, but she's going to beat all of them. But she hasn't faced Ash by Elegance yet. It's she's something different. She's something that I think Grace thinks she can handle, but be, might be caught off guard by just how tricky she is. Ring of Honor, Women's World Championship, Queen Amanada. Now listen, now listen. The Queen fell short at Supercard of Honor to Billy Stark and crowning the first ever women's uh television champion but 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 someone has to dethrone athena i think it's going to be queen amanada she's going to be out for revenge she's going to be wanting to take everything and she's been growing in popularity a lot and inevitably, she's got to get that shot at the world title. And listen, you come for the queen, you best not miss. And listen, Queen Aminata, you may have queen in the name, but Athena is the forever champion. I just think this would be a really good, hard-hitting match and a really, really solid clash of styles. AEW and the Women's World Championship, Mariah May. This is an inevitability. Listen. They are knocking it out, out of the park with this All About Eve storyline. Mariah May will be the one to dethrone Tony Storm. She's going to get that title shot. And with Mariah's good friend, Mina Shirakawa, always being there to help her, always having her back, and Tony really being nowhere to be found, Tony becoming really possessive, the split is inevitable. I am salivating at the potential fallout and Mariah May is good in the ring do not discredit her because of her looks we are we are way past that now she is very very solid this is one of the best pickups that um, AEW has had Mariah May needs that shot and it's going to come probably this year Ring of Honor Anna J now Anna J's been doing a lot of work in Ring of Honor recently, and that's very, very good. Athena needs challengers. Athena needs someone to face. And even though Anna J's career, for all the purposes, has been short, she has grown by leaps and bounds. And she's only ever gotten, I believe, one title match in AEW, and that was when Britt Baker was champion, and nobody was beating Britt Baker because, well... It's Britt Baker. But I digress. Anna J has, I think, really, really earned herself a championship opportunity. I want to see what happens when the lights are bright 
and she is there in the main event we've seen her in the street fights and she's been willing to put her body on the line but can she put her spirit on the line when you go against someone like athena tna alicia edwards i was really really shocked when alicia ended up teaming with monster slamovich to win the knockouts tag team champions and i again I, that points to um tna not having enough women on their roster where they just keep having you know single stars team up but alicia was being a part of the system had to have some form of gold and at some point it should be the tna knockouts championship the tag team gold is great do not discredit that and i can't think of you know recently when if they put the um digital media championship on a woman because that will work as well but alicia edwards is going to get another world title match and she hasn't had many but i'm happy to see her really getting back into the ring and growing her entering presence and just getting there and being knockouts technical champion helps but you when you're the system you got to have some really big gold around your waist aew sky blue one of the most popular women in wrestling this rookie who started out on aew dark has grown so much her and julia hart started at the bottom and now look where they are sky blue gets she gets it she is fun and right now she's going through that dark phase and everybody goes through a dark phase in wrestling hell mick foley went through a dark phase in wrestling that's why we have cactus jack but sky blue needs to get a title shot and maybe it won't be when while 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 tony storm is champion but sky blue is going to get another title shot and it probably will be when she has turned on julia hart and she has become one of the top faces in all of AEW. sky blue is going to get that title shot i am ready for and she just keeps getting better and better in the ring ring of honor billy starks hear me out i really thought billy starks was going to defeat athena when they faced each other but here we are Athena's still champion. Billy Starks is your television champion. And everything that's all well and good. Remember how we always said the story of the bloodline. The initial story was always about Jay. It was never about Sammy or Ellie Knight or Jimmy or Solo. It's always been about Jay. The storyline started with Jay. This world title reign of Athena starts with Billy Starks, her number one Mean and minion, and when Billy inevitably turns on her teacher and takes the championship from her, it's going to be well worth the payoff, the build up, the, the battles that they have. And ultimately, will it be out of respect that Athena shows to her? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to the next chapter in this story because they've got to go again. Just go back and watch that match they had beautiful beautiful stuff and lastly aew women's world championship chris statlander chris has gotten one title match and it was against you guessed it Britt baker not only that it was one of the few times that orange cassidy early's career aew career showed emotion and spoke chris statlander has battled back from two devastating knee injuries and she is just good now her and willow have this great tag team partnership chris is a former tbs champion and at some point she needs to be world champion yes willow will probably be on the list at some point but right now willow is the tbs champion she's got her hands full with mercedes monet chris that lander is a powerhouse and not a lot of companies have powerhouses. Not only that, they don't have a lot of powerhouses that can fly, that can get you in, get you out, that are funny, that will go extreme and go hardcore. Chris Statlander embodies all of that. And the fact that her and Tony haven't crossed paths says a lot. 
And part of that's because, you know, Chris has been out with an injury for the better part of, you know, a year and a half, maybe even two years. But she's back now and she's going to be champion. It's it's just going to happen. And I, I can't wait for a potential matchup between Chris and Willow. But let me know what you guys think. Who should be on this list? Who should not be on this list? Um, I'm excited. Women's wrestling is experiencing a great, great just level of entertainment and great matches. Yes, you got to have, you know, your people that are just there for, you know, the presentation. But you also really have a good depth of talent in all of these companies and all of these promotions. And I, I love women's wrestling. I probably have more favorite women's wrestlers than male wrestlers but wrestling is great right now find who you like and stick with them but come back this week y'all for a bunch of other stuff on the high rich wrestling podcast charisma creations we got a lot going for you i'll see you when i see you peace